Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Solera family room for RV awnings. Uh, this setup, uh, obviously I don't have it all put together right now, uh, but it is going to attach to your RV's awning and it's going to transform your covered area basically into an extra living space. It acts kind of like a tent, so it is gonna help block out extra heat. It's gonna be perfect for your outdoor dining, board games, and social gatherings on those hot days. It can also help keep bugs out and still allow you to enjoy the breeze. And it's gonna add an extra level of privacy for you. So uh, once you roll down the all weather panels, you can use this as a secure sleeping area. So it is gonna kinda of add some extra square footage to your RV uh, living space, allow you to enjoy your time outdoors a little bit more spread out perhaps. Uh, this is designed to work with the Solera Classic Hybrid and Solera 12 volt power awnings as well as the Carefree Fiesta Spirit Pioneer Manual Traveler and Eclipse 12 volt power awnings and the Dometic Sun Chaser uh, 8500 Manual Weather Pro and 9100 Series 12 volt power awnings. Uh, so if you have any of those awnings you're wanting to uh, kind of put some walls up to enclose that space, make it a little more private, a little cooler, keep the bugs out. This is gonna be a great option for you. Uh, they, there are multiple different sizes, so depending on the width of your awning, you wanna make sure you're getting the right uh, part number. You'll measure uh, the awning from the center of an, one arm to the center of the other arm, and then uh, whatever that number is, we've got kits available from 10 feet in width all the way up to 21 feet in width. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you're getting the right one so that it's gonna fit uh, properly for you. And this is going to accommodate rail to ground measurements up to 130 inches. There are multiple straps and integrated zippers here that are going to allow you to uh, adjust the height to accommodate and make sure that uh, you have the appropriate height. So you are gonna get this front panel as well as these two sides uh, and the skirt here. So uh, you are gonna be covered on all four sides. Uh, so you're not gonna have to worry about bugs coming in from underneath your RV. They do include this skirt that will attach to the RV uh, to make sure that you are enclosed and get in a nice uh, comfortable environment to hang out in. These brackets are going to attach to your RV. Uh, they do include these screws to get that attached. They do recommend some sealant, but the sealant is not included, so you will have to provide that yourself uh, just to make sure that where those screws are going in, uh, you're not gonna have water leaking in, uh, water damage and that sort of thing. Uh, they also include these self-adhesive um, attachments here. Uh, these are going to be for your skirting. So it's nice that you just peel off the back there and stick them onto your RV and then you'll be able to snap your skirting on. So the idea here is that uh, you will be able to set this up after your awning is out. Um, they do include a travel bag here that you'll be able to uh, fold all these panels up, and put them in the bag and kind of carry them separately. Obviously, uh, you're not gonna be able to roll it up with your awning, so uh, you'll pack it all up, put it in one of your storage areas I do kind of want to unroll one of these to show you what you can expect. So, like I said, it is kind of like a tent. Um, it's got a nice, rugged, kind of canvasy feel to it. And then this bottom part, it's kind of like a tent bottom. Uh, so it is going to be very durable, hold up well. You can see we've got nice, strong zippers that will allow us, like I said, to... Um, adjust the height setting so that we can make sure that we are uh, the proper height. And I'm really looking right now for the uh, windows. Here we go. On the inside there, you can see we're gonna have this nice screen that's gonna allow wind to come through, give us that nice gentle breeze on those hot days, uh, but then we'll also help to keep the bugs out. Uh, so really nice option here to help close in that covered area under your awning uh, so that you can enjoy having a little bit more square footage for your RV um, without having to uh, give up some of the conveniences of that uh, 
shady, uh, protected area. You can see this is kind of a, an olive gray color, I would call it. Uh, so it is going to be very uh, appropriate for your campsite. It's not going to be uh, gaudy or anything like that. And this is made here in the USA, so you can trust it is going to be a good quality uh, material. It's going to hold up well for you. Uh, in addition to the brackets and our uh, self-adhesive attachment points, you can see they also include uh, the stakes so that we can have a, a nice uh, firm attachment to the ground, make sure that there's going to be a minimal gap underneath uh, our sides and front so that everything is going to be nice and sealed up, keep those insects and whatnot out. So overall, I think this is a really nice concept. Uh, like I said, I keep going back to the idea that it's kind of a tent for your awning. So it's going to take the roof of your awning and just close in those side walls. So you have that uh, extra privacy, going to be more shaded. So it would be a little bit cooler and help keep those uh, insects out. So uh, I think it's going to be a great option to just add that uh, extra living space onto your RV, uh, allow you to still be outside, uh, but have a little bit more protection and comfort. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.